Good morning students. Welcome to your English literature class. Today we are going to start with the workbook reading of the play Merchant of Venice Act 1 Scene 2. By the end of this video you will be able to express the play in your own words, know about critical commentary and know about character portrayal. Before starting with Act 1 Scene 2 Let us recapitulate the summary of Act One, Scene One, in brief. In Scene One, Shakespeare introduces not only the element of the plot but also characters and atmosphere of the play. Antonio, the rich merchant, is in a sad mood from which his friends are unable to rouse him. His dearest friend Bassanio tells him of his desire to win Portia, a rich heiress of Belmont. He asks Antonio to lend him money to present himself as a worthy suitor at Belmont. Antonio has no ready cash as his fortunes are tied up with his ships at sea. So he advises Bassanio to use his name to get credit in Venice. Thus the love story of Bassanio and Portia is linked to the bond story of Antonio and Shylock. Now students open your merchant of venice workbooks at page number 41 now we'll read the development of plot of act 1 scene 2 but before it i will give you a brief summary of this scene as well the scene moves from venice to belmont we are introduced to portia about whom our curiosity has been roused in this scene Portia discusses with her maid Nerissa the scheme of her father's will by which her suitors must choose one of the three caskets in order to win her. Some of the suitors have already come in the hope of marrying her, but Portia makes fun of them and shows her dislike. Nerissa reminds her of Bassanio whom she had found quite attractive. Now Let's read the development of the plot. In this scene, Portia is engaged in conversation with her waiting woman, Nerissa. When Portia remarks that she is sick of her existence on earth, Nerissa replies that it may be due to the abundance of her wealth. She adds that certain persons are disgusted with their lives due to excess of wealth. while some others are sick of their lives due to poverty portia agrees with her remarks now students let us discuss the meanings of the difficult words engaged busy waiting woman attendant remarks comments sick of tired of abundance large quantity disgusted strong dislike poverty extremely poor here portia and nerissa her maid were busy in a conversation portia seemed a little sad as she said she was fed up of her existence on this earth nerissa commented that this may be due to her never ending wealth as There are people who are not happy because of excess wealth and some are sad because of poverty. Portia agreed with her on this. Let us continue with the reading. But Nerissa tells her that her remarks would be better if she acted upon them. Portia remarks that it is easy to preach than to practice. She adds that old people give certain instructions to the young but they forget that it is difficult to carry them out now write down the meanings of the difficult words acted upon followed preach teach nerissa told portia that it would be better if she acted on it then portia said that it is easy to preach than to practice which means It is very easy to give advice to others but difficult to follow it personally. She added that old people give instructions to youngsters but forget that 
it is not easy to carry out those instructions okay students so now let us continue with the reading she complains against her father because he has given no freedom of choice to her in her marriage but nerissa defends her father's decision she says that he who chooses the right casket by correctly interpreting the inscription upon it should be considered the most desirable suitor for her now students let us write down the meanings of the difficult words defends means speak in favor of casket a small box interpreting explaining the meaning inscription words written on the casket considered thought desirable wished for here portia revealed the actual reason behind her sadness that she was sad because she wasn't given the freedom to choose her husband as her father had decided that he who chooses the right casket by correctly interpreting the inscriptions would have her in marriage here nerissa defended her father's decision by saying that he who would choose the right casket should be considered the most desirable suitor for her now we'll read further then portia comments upon the various suitors who have come to win her hand in marriage she remarks that neapolitan princes as good as a horse because he always talks of his horses then she remarks that county palatin is so sad and serious that it is better to marry a dead man's skull than to marry such a weeping philosopher now students let us discuss the meanings of the difficult words suitors persons who come with the proposal of marriage neapolitan means from naples county high ranked officials here portia started finding faults within each suitor who had come to try their luck there was an neapolitan prince who only talked about horses county palatin who was a sad man and portia remarked him as a weeping philosopher portia makes negative remarks about monsieur lebon she says that he talks even more about horses than the neapolitan prince in fact he does not have a personality at all as regards falconbridge the young baron of england he hardly understands the european languages moreover he is strangely dressed because he has borrowed some articles of dress from every country so it is impossible to think of marrying him okay students now we'll discuss the meanings of difficult words first is monsieur which means mr second as regards means concerning baron means a noble man as regards the scottish lord he is a coward regarding the young german portia remarks that he is addicted to drinking and is never found to be sober the best way to get rid of him would be to place a bottle of wine in one of the wrong caskets so that he chooses the wrong casket now addicted to drinking means dependent on drinking sober means not drunk get rid of to escape now in the similar manner she said certain things about every one of them someone was a coward someone was drunkard the other one was strangely dressed and so on portia didn't want to marry any of them now we'll continue with the reading thereafter nerissa tells portia that she need not to bother about these suitors because they do not want to try their luck by the caskets and therefore have decided to leave palmont nerissa then ask her opinion about pasanio who visited her earlier in the company of marquis of mountfarrett and says that 
he is the ideal lover who deserves her hand in marriage porsche recollects basanio's visit and agrees with nerissa's opinion students here marcus means a noble man ideal means perfect here nerissa told porsche that she didn't have to marry any of them as all the suitors had left belmont because they did not wish to try their luck by the casket after hearing the conditions laid in porsche's father's will then nerissa made porsche to recall her meeting with basanio and told her that he would be the ideal lover for her and porsche agreed with nerissa's remark at this moment a servant enters and informs porsche that the prince of morocco has arrived to try his luck porsche remarks that if the prince of morocco has a dark complexion and a priestly mind she would prefer to have him for religious consolation rather than as a husband students priestly means pious consolation means comfort here at that moment a servant entered and gave the information that prince of morocco had arrived on this porsche commented that if he had a dark complexion and priestly mind then she would prefer to have him for spiritual and religious guidance but would not marry him okay students now let's move to the critical commentary in this scene we are introduced to the heroine of the play porsia in her home at belmont she is uncertain of her future due to the strange provisions of her father's will with regard to her marriage according to her father's will a person who chooses the right casket out of the three caskets will be able to marry her now students write down the meanings of the difficult words uncertain means not sure strange means very different provisions means conditions now students in this scene we are introduced with one of the main characters the heroine of the play porsia she is sad and confused about her future now students why is she sad yes she is uncertain about her future as her father made strange provisions regarding her marriage now what were the provisions children yes according to her father the person who will choose the right casket out of the three caskets gold silver and lead would be able to marry porsia now students we'll continue with the reading but the story moves ahead when porsia recollects basanio's earlier visit she remembers basanio with tender thoughts of him we come to know about porsia's liking for basanio from the conversation between porsia and nerissa from the conversation we make out that nerissa is a clever and witty maid now students write down the meanings recollects means remembers tender means soft witty means intelligent students here in this scene we come to know about two more things first that nerissa is a clever and witty maid and second is that porsia has a liking for basanio now students as the scene continues a number of suitors are talked about in them we find a revelation of the various types of european personalities of those times The prince of Naples thinks of nothing but horsemanship. The count of Palatinate is a joyless person. The French man is a hot-headed person. The English man is queerly dressed. The Scottish lord is a coward. These character sketches of various suitors give amusement to the readers. Now students underline the difficult words and write down the meanings first is revelation means something that is revealed hot headed means easily made angry queerly 
means strangely now students listen to this carefully there is an important information this scene is written in prose and this shows that this play the merchant of venice belongs to the middle period of shakespeare's work in his early works he made use of prose only in the comic dialogues of clowns and other humorous characters now students comic means funny clowns means jokers humorous means funny so children this scene is written in the form of prose instead of poetry shakespeare often used prose for dialogues which were meant for funny characters like clowns while poetry was meant for witty characters now students will read the character portrayal the scene reveals a lot about the character of portia we come to know that inactivity of body and mind has made her dull and she remarks that she is fed up with her existence on earth the moment she begins to describe the suitors she becomes lively cheerful and witty her descriptions of the various suitors shows that she is intelligent and analytical now students write down the meanings inactivity means idleness cheerful means happy analytical means systematic children this scene tells us about the character of portia due to her inactivity of body and mind she becomes very dull as she comments that she is fed up of her existence but when she started talking about suitors her cheerful side comes in front of the readers her description of suitors shows that she is intelligent and a good observer let us continue with the reading portia's maid nerissa is also very clever and witty she serves as a foil to portia she understands portia's nature very well when she finds portia in a melancholy mood she tries to soothe her troubled mind portia too shares all her anxieties with her now students melancholy means sad soothe means calm anxieties means nervousness now this scene reveals that nerissa is very clever and witty woman she serves as a foil to portia means her character contrast with portia's character in order to better highlight the qualities of portia's character when portia is in sad mood then nerissa tries to soothe her mood in every possible way and portia also shares everything with her now students we have done workbook reading of act 1 scene 2 now you have to revise it now it's your homework time do the homework given to you in your snap homework Thank you.